This is super exciting. Now, when I said I was coming to Orkney, I was really looking forward to getting a little bit of stormy weather, some really incredible crashing waves and some epic rugged coastline. And this bay that we've just pulled up at has got that and more. As you can probably tell, the um, the weather is pretty wild here, so vlogging what I'm about to photograph is going to be incredibly challenging. I don't think you'll be able to hear what I'm saying because the wind is just pretty intense. But just to give you a roundup of what I'm about to do, I'm going to get out my telephoto lens, I'm going to go down to the beach and I'm going to photograph some crashing wave shots. Both crashing against the shore as well as just these waves that are surging into land and there is plenty of bird life around as you'd expect somewhere like Orkney. They're just, there's birds everywhere from gulls to geese to starlings to herons. There's just all sorts going on here. So hopefully I'll be able to get some of these birds frozen as the waves are crashing you know get the birds above them and stuff so that's just a little sneak peek into what I am planning on shooting in the next hour or so and uh, as I say I'm gonna really struggle to vlog what I'm actually doing so I'm probably gonna film a heap of things showcase all the photographs and then maybe speak you through it at the end or do some voiceover I'm not sure yet but super excited for this shoot this is what I was looking for when I came here as well as lighthouses of course and um, I'm excited let's go <laughs> The first thing that really struck me when I began taking photographs in this location was the colours within the crashing waves. Now not every wave had epic colours, but a lot of them had this incredible turquoise colour through them, and especially as the waves broke, it was really illuminated and just drew my eye in and it stood out immensely against the grey background that we had on the day. As you can imagine, capturing these waves on camera was quite difficult as they were breaking in all directions and only appearing from time to time. But it was so rewarding when I was able to get these shots here and I hope you can really appreciate both the colour of these waves as well as the textures and patterns within the water. The second thing that really stood out to me in this location was the way that the waves were crashing against this large cliff face. When I first got out the car I was greeted with this scene here where I had these different shaped waves crashing at different points along the shore, both before they got to the cliff themselves as well as many of them crashing against the rocks. This created a variety of images with different shapes, different patterns and different wave intensities, all of which tell a slightly different story and draw the eye in to different aspects of the landscape and points within these photographs.
As I walked along the coast, this cliff face then began to manifest, to showcase what I can only describe as almost like a massive giant's face. You will see from these next images here, this almost face-like structure with a very prominent nose where the waves began to crash against it. As I say, this wasn't visible from the original photographs you saw, but by walking along the coastline, I was able to get a different vantage point of this cliff face, which told a completely different story and added more interest to this epic scene. I decided to edit a few of these photographs in black and white. I'm unsure what I think about them, especially the first one, but the second one, it really brought out the textures in the rocks and added something that little bit different to the scene. The amount of bird life in Orkney really blew me away and at this location here I thoroughly enjoyed them battling against the waves and soaring over the horizon. It was a truly wonderful thing to witness and one thing I was adamant I wanted to do before I left was ensure that I got some action shots of these birds soaring and interacting with the waves. I really got a sense of them being truly up against the elements here, although it was hard to decide whether they were enjoying this weather or whether they were finding it a challenge. But either way, I thoroughly enjoyed the interaction between the wild weather and the seabirds that call this beautiful location their home. The final images I photographed were the waves crashing over the rocks in the opposite direction to that epic face-like cliff that I've already shown you. 
What I liked here was the different textures and shapes within the rocky outcrops. Because of that, I found when editing these photographs that they worked incredibly well in black and white. And by having white birds against the black dark rocks, it really added something of interest to the scene and showcased the sheer drama that was manifesting before my eyes. So obviously this video was a little bit different than my norm but because there were so many photographs that day that I took that I liked and managed to whittle down to my final number of images I thought it was nice just to create a video almost like a slideshow showcasing the beauty and epicness of this location and the numerous photographs that I managed to shoot. What I'd really like to know is which photographs were your favourite and why. So comment in the comments below and let me know what your favourite photographs were or what your favourite style of images were within those kind of themes I've just showed you. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. In the next two episodes, I will be on the Isle of Hoy in Orkney, staying at Cantic Head Lighthouse Cottage. So I look forward to seeing you all again then. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.